I'm Ashima Kapoor and I'm going to teach you how to do the bronze look today. Now to achieve this look we're going to use very warm tones and very warm colors like uh, uh, very sunny uh, yellows, golds, oranges, chocolate browns. That's what we're going to essentially use to achieve this look. This look can not only be achieved on a dusky skin tone but also on a fair skin. So if you're using, um, if you want to bronze a fair skin model then what you need to do is you need to use two shades darker foundation on her. We first use a MAC hydrating spray which is called Fix Glass. Don't spray it on the eyes, just spray it on the face just to hydrate and refresh the face. After which I'm using a Studio Moisture Cream from MAC. This is just to moisturize the face. So massage the moisturizer into the skin. Now for a bronze look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an NC45 MAC foundation which is a Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and I'm going to mix it with an Inglot bronzer. So, so I've mixed the bronzer and the foundation, I'm going to use it on the entire face. Make sure you go down to the neck so that the face and the neck matches the bronze tone that we're trying to create. Next we use a dark brown powder to powder the face. Just like we use a, a translucent powder after a foundation to seal the foundation. We're going to set the foundation with a brown powder which is obviously of a dark color matching the skin tone now that we've created. Larger brush you can use the neck The next is to use a concealer for the under eye area. Use a little concealer on the eyelid as well. Make sure that you powder the eyelid. Otherwise, the eyeshadow will start to crease. Now, I'm going to use uh, this eyeshadow called Amber Lights from MAC. Next, I'm going to use a MAC pigment called Melon under the eyebrows as a highlighter. Now I'm going to take a dark brown color out of my MAC palette again and contour the eyes. A little from the inside, a little from the outside. and blend all of this into the socket line onto the outside contour area The next step is to take a little bit of a gold eyeshadow and put it right in the center of the lid Now that will bring out the lid 
and also create a lovely gold effect on the lid. It also brings out the eyes. Next step is going to be an eyeliner. So I'm going to load the eyeliner onto the brush and sweep a line across. Next is to fix a pair of false eyelashes. Load some eyelash glue onto the lashes. Wait for it to semi dry before you put them on. Next is to redo the eyeliner onto the lashes so that the glue does not show. Next is to use a cold pencil in the inner rim. Smoke this with a black eyeshadow. Make sure that we join the smoke with the extended eyeliner that we've done on top. Now with a wet brush, we're going to take a little bit of the gold pigment and put it in the inner corner of the eyes just to open up the eyes. Mascara the lashes together. We take a dark brown eyeshadow and fill in the eyebrows. Use a transparent mascara to seal the brows in place. Now with a dark brown blush, I'm going to contour the cheeks. Also the jawline. Contour the nose. Now before using the lip color, I'm going to use a foundation on her lips because they're a little dark. So in such a case, you can uh, first cover them with a foundation. I'm going to use a lip liner pencil to shape the mouth. Now I'm going to add a lovely beige lipstick. I'm going to add a lovely bronze Elizabeth Arden lip gloss on this. Make sure that you don't smack your lips after the lip gloss has been done. Now to finish the look, we can use a bronzer again on the cheekbones just for a dewy finish. we can use also a bronzing powder just for high shine. You could also use the bronzer on the highlight areas which is the ridge of the nose, the center of the forehead, the tip of the chin and the collarbones as well. So this is our bronze look, which is uh, a sun-kissed look as you call it, or a tanned look as we all know it. Um, this is also something that Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce or our Indian Bipasha Basu sports. You can also complete this look with a hair accessory like a bandana or a chain, uh, a string, or even feathers for that matter to create this bohemian sort of a look. So I hope you liked it.